And rolling the ball up and down the fingers. And into the palm. Let him mute you, Shimon, so that you don't pop up on the screen. And into the pad of the pinky. And the thumb. And down to the wrists. And up to the knuckles, rolling across the knuckles. And let's keep the ball in the palms, interlace the fingers, and squeeze. And release. And squeeze. And release. And squeeze. And release. Let's go around the back. Around the back. And switch. And switch. And switch. Switch. And hinge at the waist. Go through the legs. Switch, switch, and switch. Yeah, put the ball on the floor. Assess how the feet feel. Make a note of the ankles, the knees, the hips, and then press on the ball and Right in the middle of the foot three times. Up to the knuckles, once on each going across. Then roll across the knuckles. And bring the ball to the middle of the foot and wiggle the toes. Bring the ball to the crease between the knuckles and the toes and press the toes into the ball. Release and separate. Press. Wiggle again. And scribble. Three, two, one, release, reassess, and go to the other foot, press it down. Three times. Knuckles. Roll across the knuckles. Middle of the foot and wiggle the toes. Press the toes into the ball. Bring them up and separate. Press again. Wiggle again. And screw. Three, two, one.
and release. Get the ball out of the way. Reassess. And shake the tree. Three, two, one, center. Twist at the waist, swing the arms. And center with some ocean wave breathing. Fingers and thumb at the base of the spine. Step out, gather in starlight. Center. Same thing in the other direction. And center. And let us walk a bit. Now we're going to do our 16 steps. And then elbow towards knee, don't have to touch it. If you can, great, but just bring it towards it. Do an eight on each side. And then walk or march or jog. So we're going to do McGill's Big Three for the core today. No squats involved in that. Down on the floor. So I think I'm going to do some rapid squats to get the heart rate going, but you can do whatever you feel like doing, including exactly what you are doing. It's safe. Whatever it is you choose. Uh, 
I could go on N5, get bands in the after class, 4, 3, 2, and 1, 2. Ten, twelve, and it's twenty. And thirty. Two breaths. Interlace the fingers, raise the hands up, up on your toes if you can. Come down, bend back if you can do extensions. And back to center, bend in one direction. And then the other. And come back to center. Lower your hands to your chest and push out. And come on down. Interlace your fingers behind your back and raise your hands up. And a little higher. And come on down and shrug. Put your fingers on your shoulders and rotate your elbows forward. And then backwards. And then swim. And do the backstroke. And the breaststroke. Leave your hands out, extended, and tap your shoulders. And then give yourself a big bear hug. Inhale. Exhale. Arms out. Bring the other arm on top this time. Inhale. One more time each way. One arm behind the back, press down and in on the shoulder, on the uh, elbow. And then the other. Grab both elbows, rock side to side. Extend the arms with the fingers up, pull back. Fingers down. Flop the wrist, wiggle the fingers, make a fist. Other hand, fingers up. And down. Uh, 
and flopped. Come on down and rotate the neck. And go the other way. And nod. And go your shoulder. Look up. And look down. Look over one shoulder. And look behind on the other. And let's grab a stick. We're going to do the gym stick routine today, but we're going to start by putting the stick into the instep. Slide the hand on the same side down, the other foot is out. And bearing the weight as we stretch the muscles of the inner thigh. And then go to the other side, do the same. And come on up. And we're going to do some dynamic swimmers behind the back in one direction, over the head and behind the back. And then in the other direction. Then up overhead, back and forth. Then behind the back. And then bring the stick down to the top of the knees while you're hinging at the waist. Bring your hands around in front between the knees. And pull up, keeping your head back. Spine neutral. Then bring the stick around front, hold on with two hands at or near the top, step back, hinge at the waist, stretch the upper body. Come on back up, bring the stick across the body with one arm, put the other arm on top of the shoulder, hinge at the waist, tug gently on that shoulder. Then do the same thing the other way. Come on up, bring the stick to the side of the foot, push away with the top hand as you pull in with the bottom. Now 
Then I go to the other side. Same thing. And then bring the stick in front of one foot, move it about six inches away, drop the stick to the collarbone, slide both hands down the stick as you hinge at the waist. You can lift your foot off the ground by the, and keep the heel on and pivot on the heel, lifting uh, just the sole of the foot off. Swing it back and forth if you'd like, increasing the stretch on the hamstring. Come on down, do the same thing on the other side. And come on up, press the sole of the foot against the stick. Do the same with the other foot. Then the front leg be on the ball of the foot, balls of the foot on the other foot. Come on down and stretch the hip flexors. Then reverse position of the feet. Come on up. Grab one leg by the shins, ankle, or toes and stretch the quads. You need to hold on to a counter in front of you or the back of a chair. And then the other. And then bring the first foot up in front of you. Push the knee back. Hinge slightly at the waist. And then come up and do the same thing with the other foot, pushing that knee back as you hinge. Come on up, bring the stick in front of us, hold on with two hands, one hand or a finger or two. We're going to come up on our toes and back on our heels, holding for a second in each position or 15, a count of 15 or so. On the three, four. Ten. And 15. All right, let's put the stick down. We're going to get down on the floor on our backs. I'm going to move the camera down there. All right. So this is slightly different than our five Tibetans. We definitely put the hands in the small of the back. We've got the sole of one foot on the floor. The other leg is extended. We're going to raise the head, neck, and shoulders off the floor only enough to clear it about an inch. 
and we're going to hold for the count of 10. Then we're going to switch the position of the feet. So the other foot goes on the floor and the other leg gets extended. We're going to do three repetitions on each side for a total of six. So here we go. Head, neck, and shoulders come up. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. Switch the position of the feet. Come up just enough to clear the floor. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Switch positions of the feet. Up, two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. Switch, and up, ten. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Last set of reps. Up, ten. Three, two, one, and down, and switch. Up, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And down, take two breaths. Now, on this um, second exercise, if you have trouble being on your knees, stay on your back, lift your legs into a 90 degree position, put your hands straight up in the air. And when I say a left leg, right hand, you extend the left leg and right hand out and hold for 10. And you're going to come back left hand and right leg. And do it that way. But the normal way to do this is a bird dog. We're on all fours. And um, when I say left hand and right leg, we extend out that way. If you have trouble doing both at the same time, just do your hands first, then do your legs, then go back to your hands. Here we go. Left hand, right leg. 10, 8, 7, 6, 5. Three, two, one, and back. Right hand, left leg. Four, three, two, one, and back. Left hand, right leg. And back. Right hand, left leg. And back, last round, left hand, right leg. And back, right hand, left leg. And good. That's the end of that. Come on over on your side. And we're going to do some side planks. You can modify this in several ways. Um, the easiest way is to do it on your knees. If you've done before, come on up. And you're going to hold for the count of 10 and come down. Normal way to do it is to do one foot on top of the other or one foot in front of the other. Whichever way works best, we're going to do three on one side and then three on the other. Here we go. Up. Use your knees if you need to. Seven, six, four, three, two, and one. And down. And up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, and down. And up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. And we're going to go to the other side. Same thing over here. You start just by coming up on your knees. 
I'll do it that way. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. I'm extending out to the legs again. Two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. And then up. Two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, and now. All right, there's that. Let's sit down today for the um, breath work. Again, we're doing uh, Leonard Brule's coming home breath. It's a nice big deep inhalation through the nose. And then just letting go through the mouth. We're going to do five of those. Stand up and rub those hands together as I switch the cameras. Cultivating chi and forming a chi ball. And going down and up. And all around, letting it expand and contract. And centering. Two breaths. And let us open our hearts. Inhaling on the way in, exhaling on the way out, pausing on that inhale, exhaling to send it out. And centering. Your best. And burn down heavenly cheek. And let's scoop it up. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, you're very welcome, Hitchcock. You're looking good. Hope you're feeling good. Um, huh? Bands, bands, bands. You got them? Okay. Good. What did I have planned? Oh yes, all right. So I was going to start. Tom. Yes. We only see Shimon instead of seeing you. He is in the room, and and while you are talking and exercising, what we get very often is Shimon. I know. I keep on muting him. I'm I'm going to tell talk to him tomorrow about it. 
because he then he unmutes himself so that he gets the um, yeah. No, I mean he he doesn't make any sound, but he does make watching the exercise. That's because he's unmuting himself, and he is making a sound that we can't hear, so it goes to him I rather see. than me. So I, I will explain that again to him tomorrow. Yeah, because he's very good looking, but you are better looking. <laughs> I'll fix that tomorrow. Thank you. Yes. So we're going to uh, put our hands uh, in like so, put one on the shoulder, and then come back and do a tricep extension, two. That's good. Eight, nine. 10. And I'm going to mute you even. That's the uh, same same principle there. So, and now I, I should stay on. I'm doing the other hand. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. Ah, yes. So, I'm going to do the monster walk. Let's put the bands around either the ankle or above the knee. Above the knee is a good way to start it. Let's start it above the knee. And we're just going to take a big step forward. Like you're a monster. Rawr. Keeping your knees separate. And then turn around and go back. And then either take the band off or if you can safely get down on the ground with it on, do so. And we're going to do some um, adjusting here. We're going to bring the uh, heels close to the glutes and do some bridges. Coming up and holding for two and back down. One, two, and down. Two, that's three, four, five, six, eight. Nine, and on this one we're going to hold for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Take a couple of breaths. We're going to do it again while we're here. If you can, bring your feet a little bit closer to the glutes, it'll engage the glutes more and less on the quads. Ready? One, two, and down. Two, and down. Three, two, and down. Four, and down. And down. And down. Seven. And down. Eight. Nine. And then ten will hold again for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. 
six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. And now we're going to bring the band, we're going to get on one knee and bring the band under the sole of one foot. And you might want to use a lighter band than you use on the legs if you went to a heavier band. And we're going to rope across the body diagonally. One, keeping the elbow close to the ribs. Two, three, six. I'm holding for a Second or two at the top, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then switch to the other foot. Good. Let's go back to the first foot. And ten, and then the other. Okay, and then we're going to put the band around the knees. The easiest way to do that is to sit down around the top of the knees, lower thighs. And stand up, separate the knees a little bit with more than width, uh, hip width apart. Go into that crouch and do the monster walk. Now you can turn around or you can go backwards if you feel safe doing that. Seven, seven, Eight, nine, nine, and ten. And then finally, we're going to do the tricep extension. Get it on the shoulder and back down. One, two, three. And ten, and then the other way.
and 10. All right, that'll do it.